tell me, do you feel ashamed on how you've turned your... What's up guys? Welcome back to the GS850 Scrambler build. In this episode, I am going to be doing the wiring for the rear turn signals, the tail light, um, and the front turn signals. I know this isn't like the biggest job ever, and this, this is a pretty easy case. Uh, I just have, you know, a few wires for the turn signals and a, a little bit more for the um, tail light here. It definitely can be difficult sometimes. As you know, this isn't my favorite job to do. Um, I remember a clip back in the uh, CB750 build where I was really struggling with the wiring. I'll show that here. Uh, okay guys, so I think I finally got all the electrical stuff hooked up. Um, probably not right, but I'm gonna put the key in the ignition and test it out. Okay, so key is on, the headlight came on, tail lights on, let's see if the brake lights work. They do, and the foot peg. Yes. Uh, what about the high beams? Nope. High beams do not work. Good signals? Nope. What about the horn? Okay, so the wiring ended up taking a lot longer than I expected. It took like four days. Yeah, good times. Good times. Anyways, um, I'm going to show you guys how to use the wiring diagrams and I'm just going to show you how to, how to wire this together. Um, I'm going to, I've done this, you know, like one time before, so I'm a little bit better at it now and I think I'll be good enough to show you kind of a tutorial. Um, I know a lot of you guys watching my videos are building your own bikes and uh, there are a few, you know, a few things that you do on cafe racers and scramblers and stuff that can be more difficult than others, like, uh, you know, the wiring and um, adjusting the valves. I ha have a video on that, too. I'll put it, a link to it in the description. I'm going to show you guys how to, how to do the wiring on an old bike like this, how to wire new taillights and turn signals and stuff into the old. Thanks for clicking on my video again. Um, I appreciate it greatly. Well, let's get right into it, guys. Okay guys, so a good thing to do um, when you're trying to wire up your new taillights, especially uh, if you bought them on eBay, you can just look at the, the listing on eBay, look through the pictures, and it'll usually give you a wiring diagram that just shows you what each color of each wire does. Um, I actually found out for this taillight specifically, it has integrated turn signals. Um, I'm not going to be using those because I have separate turn signals. Um, so I'm just not not even gonna wire those up the black wire here. That's the ground all black is usually always ground um, And that goes with the wiring harness on the bike and you know any new turn signals or tail lights black is almost always ground and then the red wire here is The red wire is the brake and the license plate light so yeah, I guess and then the yellow one is the running and license plate light. And then the orange one is for the right turn signals and the blue one's for the left turn signal. And then um, from looking at the old tail light that came with the bike, <coughs> um, it also has three wires and a connector that um, goes into this one. So these three wires from the tail light are gonna end up matching these three wires from the wiring harness. And what I'm gonna do is just get the uh, old connector off of the old tail light, cut it off, and then I'm gonna connect these wires to it and just plug it in. Simple as that. Uh, you definitely wanna use, uh, you know, the old connectors and everything as much as you can. That's just, it's just a lot easier and a lot better than just, you know, cutting these off and then connecting them that way. 
because you can do that, but if you have the connector, why not use it? Because uh, it'll make it a much cleaner job. Okay, so I have the old tail light here. And as I was saying, there's the connector. It looks uh, just like this one, they go together. So I'm going to just go ahead and snip this one off. And then I'm gonna connect these new, um, then I'm gonna connect these new wires from the new tail light to this connector. And then I'm gonna just connect those together and that'll be, uh, that'll be all I need to do for the tail light. Okay, there's the connector. Um, if you look closely, you can see that there's two black wires going into the third terminal. So for that tail light, uh, I guess it just needed two ground wires. I only need one for the new tail light, so I'm just gonna end up taking one of these out or just not connecting it at all. I've got this connector. I've got these wires. I'm gonna go ahead and strip these down a little bit so that I can connect them to the tail light wires. And then I'm going to get the red, yellow, and black wires. And I'm not going to be able to use these connectors here, so I'm just going to cut them off. These are all ready to get connected now. The black ground wire from the tail light goes to the black ground wire on the connector here. So I'm going to simply, I got some the smallest heat shrink tubing I could find, cut it in half. Okay, that looks perfect. Just gonna slide it over the wire and then I'm just going to twist them together. I'm gonna make sure they're very well connected so that I don't have any trouble down the line. Because that's the biggest thing with wiring, guys. Uh, you can do a fast job and it might work for a little bit, but things are gonna, you know, especially on motorcycles, things are gonna be shaking around and eventually it's just gonna stop working. But that's a pretty good connection there. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide that heat shrink tubing over it. And then once I get these all connected, I'm just gonna heat them up, shrink them together, and then they won't be going anywhere. So I found out through trial and error that the white from the wiring harness matches with the red wire from the tail light. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, connect those together. Trial and error is definitely not always the best way to do wiring. Um, it is definitely an easy way to do it, but it's not the best because you can pretty simply short out. Um, you know, you can blow a fuse, short something out if you're just connecting random wires together. I wouldn't recommend doing that if you're doing it for something other than just a, a tail light or turn signals or something like that. Anyways, so I've got those connected and now just the brown to the yellow wire is left. You can also um, just use the wiring diagrams to find out which one goes to which. That's the, um, that's definitely the best way to do it. Okay, so I've got all of these uh, wires from the tail light going to the new, the old uh, connector. And I'm just gonna go ahead and connect the, these two together before I heat this up, just to make sure it works. Cause you don't wanna, um, it's definitely a lot harder to um, change the wires around if the heat shrink tubing's already shrunk. I've done it before, it's, it's not an easy thing to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect that together and I'm gonna turn the bike on and see if the tail light works. The running lights definitely work. Um, I'm gonna push the brake pedal in and see what happens. Okay, and the lights get brighter. So everything is hooked up correctly with the tail light. I'm gonna go ahead and shrink these wires up. Okay, that looks good. 
The tail light's all wired up, now time to do the turn signals. With the turn signals, the black wire is ground as usual. The brown wire is the, uh, that's the turning light. And then the red wire is the running light. I've been kind of like messing around with the wires for a good, probably close to an hour now. And I couldn't figure out, you know, why, like, I, it just didn't seem to match up. Like, it seemed like I didn't have enough wires to go with the turn signals. And the reason for that, I figured out the stock old turn signals only have the turning light and the ground wire. And these new ones here have a driving light, the ground wire, and, um, and the turning light. So what I had to do, what I had to end up doing was just combine the running light and the turning light so that, um, so the light always, I feel like I can't talk today. This is terrible. The only difference will be uh, when you're driving, you, the turn signals will only come on when uh, you hit the turn signal button. There won't be like a running light and that's fine with me. I don't really care. The stock, the old stock turn signals didn't have a running light anyway. So that's, it'll do fine. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to show you that this doesn't, that the turn signals do indeed work. So left turn signal and right turn signal. And those are the back ones. Now I'm going to show you the front. Left front turn signal and the right front turn signal. So yeah, guys, I don't have any running lights with the turn signals, and that's totally fine because it, it didn't. The bike didn't have those stock anyway. So now I've got I've got all the wires kind of loosely connected, and now I'm going to just connect them the right way so that they won't come undone. Um, and as you as you might have seen in the test video of the turn signals, they don't flash. Um, I think that the flat. This is the flasher unit here. Um, I think that it's bad. I mean, it must be if they, it doesn't work, it doesn't make the turn signals flash. So I, I'm guessing I, I'm just going to have to get a new, buy a new little flasher unit here. Um, and then hopefully the turn signals will flash after that. I don't really know. We'll have to see you guys, but uh, solid turn signal lights. I mean, that's fine for now. So the next thing I'm going to do is just get all these wires, um, connected correctly and then the job will be pretty much done. So I kind of realized that I can actually, I can use the integrated um, tail light turn signal lights. So I have the blue for the right integrated tail light turn signal light and the orange one for the left integrated tail light turn signal light. So all I have to do is connect, um, say the blue one to the right turn signal wire from the wiring harness and the uh, brown and the red wires from the turn signal. All I have to do is just connect this wire to those uh, three wires and then they'll all connect to the turn signal um, wire coming from the wiring harness and then they will both light up when you hit the turn signal button. So I'm just going to connect all three of these together and then that'll uh, finish up the job. I know um, I might be talking kind of fast and all this stuff might sound kind of confusing but I'm going to have a, some little diagrams and drawings thrown in with the video. Hopefully those will help explain what I am doing. Okay guys, so first of all, I'm going to just connect the uh, black um, ground and black to yellow ground wires because that's a pretty easy part. So they simply just go in like that and then I'm going to go ahead and squeeze these nice and tight so that they will not be coming out. Okay, so that's pretty much done. I might wrap some tape around that to uh, kind of hold it together a little better. Orange is right, blue is left. So orange is going to go with these ones here. So I'm gonna group all three of these together and then plug them in with this wire, this white wire from the wiring harness. So all of these three wires are going to be going into this one connector here. And how I'm gonna do that is I'm just gonna pick one, 
going into the connector and then the other two I'm just gonna cut them off and then strip the wires and then uh, connect them to this one and then they'll all go into the connector there. Snip the ends off of these, strip them down just like that and get this one and I'm going to strip a small part of it like that then I'm kinda gonna just cut the side of it off and strip it that way so there you go now I've got a little stripped portion um, gonna get a little piece of heat shrink tubing slide it on over and you want to try to do this without creating a big tangle because that can happen pretty easily when you're working with all kinds of multiple wires okay so this one I, I'm gonna have multiple wires going into it so I'm gonna get a bigger piece of heat shrink tubing for this so there we go we got all the wires coming through the heat shrink tubing I'm gonna twist them together now that looks good so slide this one on over that and then slide that one on over that and then heat it up and it should be good to go Okay, so there's one side of the turn signal from the rear. And then the other side is just going to be done the exact same way. So let's go ahead and hook this up and see if it works. Okay, so it does indeed work. Both lights have come on. That's a good connection. Okay guys, and that's good for all the rear lighting. So now I'm working on the front turn signals and it's kind of hard to uh, capture this with video because it's just, it's just kind of dark in here. I've got a light shining at it, but uh, I'm doing what I can, guys. So anyway, um, I found out that there are two unconnected wires in the harness, actually three, one's a double, and I figured that that was the ground um, connector and it is black with a white stripe and if you look on the wiring diagram the ground up to the front headlight turn signal area is uh, colored black with a white stripe so I'm going to connect the black grounds from the turn signals to the black and white stripe ground from the wiring harness and then I have this uh, this white bluish whitish I think it might be green actually wire coming from the wiring harness and that is actually that actually goes to the right turn signal and I've just connected the brown and the, the red from the turn signals which is the running and the turning light um, I just connected them both together because the I, again this bike um, st it, like came stock with just turn turning lights and not running lights so I just have to connect those together um, and then there's another another black wire and that's actually this one does not have a white stripe and that's actually the left turn signal so I'm just going to connect all these together um, I've already tested it and it, it all works so I'm just going to connect them all together and then it'll be done and the goal with the uh, front up here is to kind of pull all the wires into this hole on the headlight and uh, just put the headlight on over it and it'll kind of protect all the wires and all the connections and stuff um, so yeah guys I'm going to go ahead and connect these and then that'll be it for the wiring
test. Low beam, high beam works. Well guys, thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you learned a little something about wiring. Um, I know if you're first getting into bikes or even if you're experienced, the wiring can be a very intimidating task to do, um, especially on older bikes that n there's not much information for. But uh, I mean, it, it really just takes a lot of patience, trial and error sometimes, and you really have to study the wiring diagrams. And if you really look at them, um, they might look pretty complicated at first, a lot of different wires and stuff, but just follow the individual colors and individual wires from one unit to the next. And it, I mean, it's pretty simple. That's kind of what I did to get all this working. It didn't take me too long. Um, you definitely shouldn't be scared by wiring. You just need to jump into it. And it might take you a long time, but you'll learn a lot and it'll get easier each time you do it. That's what I've learned. Uh, I know this bike was a lot easier to wire than my first bike, and I don't know if that's just because I'm more experienced now or if it was just an easier system. But either way, uh, the whole bike's wired up. And yeah, so stay tuned for the next video, which should be the test ride. Um, everything's done. I just need to put the seat and the gas tank on, hook the gas tank back up, and then it should be good to go, guys. So thank you for keeping up with the series. Um, if you enjoyed it, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video, which will be, hopefully will be a moto vlog and I'll be riding this thing. So stay tuned guys. Thank you for watching.